Hello friends, after a mini research I went for uh, this model Canon Pixma the number being MG2577S as you can see and uh, you can directly connect with your laptop or you can connect in your with your mobile via uh, this uh, OTG cable as you can see that or this black one if you want to maybe I'm just trying I haven't tried to make it uh, Wi-Fi so that I can connect with Bluetooth so uh, if my laptop is in other room still I can give the print command so I haven't used it just got it from Amazon and this also from Amazon and uh, yes it's working perfectly fine just need to connect with your uh, mobile as you can see USB over here and here you can connect with your mobile and uh, yes it works perfectly when you put it in the port and this one I got USB female to female yes to uh, yet to um, actually use it I will uh, update once um, I could convert into Wi-Fi because uh, one of my friends told me uh, there is no use of paying another 5000 bucks for uh, Wi-Fi or uh, wireless thing because anyhow you need to connect with the power cable so that itself is a uh, cable so there is no way you can make it completely Wi-Fi I mean to say wireless so there will be a wire dangling from your laptop connecting or uh, your power cord connecting to your printer anyhow this is the one i went uh, for and uh, quite a good experience being my first printer and you need to download the driver either you can do it through dvd provided by canon but um, as most of the laptops now they don't have that facility so it may not work and even if you are having the dvd facility possibilities there it has got frozen it is not working because it has become inactive now so you need to go to this site in dot canon as you can see and download uh, this driver i really faced a lot of problem later yes because of their it support i could call one of the branches and they told me to check the usb connector so what i did i just uh, swapped it first i was connecting with one external usb port as you can see that then I switched over to other port and start working. It was properly installed and now I'm using it. And uh, another problem that I faced was uh, uh, definitely uh, installing the ink jet bottle. So yes, it's a, the thing is uh, there is a technique how you need to fix it. You can get the videos uh, on YouTube that is completely dedicated for that purpose i just try to show you just how to open it uh, first you switch on the power open this slot and you can see that orange light is uh, there that is black ink because it got exhausted because it's a very small filler that they give cartridge I mean to say so um, why it is still orange because I filled it uh, through cartridge world yes they provide the genuine Canon or HP HP ink so uh, now it is working fine because now the companies uh, like uh, the seal has been broken and uh, it is not indicating that it is still uh, full so and they promised me it will go for maybe 100 or so prints so I'm going to check that so you need to take out this uh, tray and uh, yes for the first timer if you want I can uh, show you how to put the paper around just a second I'm just trying to find the paper Yes, uh, this is where you keep 
the paper and I know most of you must be knowing uh, I'm just a person who is uh, definitely uh, like for the first time he's seeing printer like for the first time I'm operating with the printer so I was quite a layman as far as printer is concerned so this is where you keep uh, your page and uh, yes you can always manipulate this part if you can see that to fix the paper properly and this is where you can find your cartridge if you need to change it just pull it I hope you can see that now the cartridge uh, started moving yes uh, I hope you can see that on the left hand side you have color on the right hand side you are having the bla black uh, ink cartridge I hope it is clear yeah. uh, as I told you I am not going to show you how to like uh, fix it uh, over here I don't want you to uh, mess up with your uh, printer so for that you can watch another video made by some good technical people technical hands so maybe that will be helpful for you i'm just showing um, like the obstacles i faced while um, installing the printer this is where uh, like i have to really struggle because uh, it has to go little tilted then you have to press it this part so anyhow uh, there is a video I don't want to waste your time on that so you need to close it if you want to use it then you can uh, listen to the print head uh, sound it is getting aligned and now it is ready to be used you just have to either give uh, command with your mobile if it is connected with the OTG I already showed you this is the thing yes if it is connected with OTG with your mobile you need to give print with your command with your mobile otherwise you can connect with your laptop through this cable that goes to USB you can see that it is connected to my laptop and what I'm planning is to take this one off and uh, put this female to female USB and connect uh, with this one one uh, Bluetooth connector and uh, it will be Wi-Fi ready this is what my plan is if it is uh, successful I will put another video for that so uh, that's it guys um, I think it will be too long um, I just want to show like or rather as a user or as a new buyer what problems I faced uh, with uh, this Pixma not with the company for sure Canon definitely it's a very good buy for me the only problem I faced was installing the driver it took almost five hours for me because the problem was USB connector it was actually uh, dangling over here it was loose and um, when I called up the IT person yes uh, he helped me out but the only uh, drawback with uh, Canon being uh, they don't provide on-site support like nobody will come to install you should know you should watch some videos that can help you out how to install it but yes I'm quite satisfied uh, with the printer and quality is good and um, either you can um, refill the cartridge by yourself that is quite a maneuver like if you are ready for that if you think you're not so technically good go for cartridge world yes they have quality ink and they will refill you just have to pay around 241 rupees and for color around 300 rupees something i think that's a uh, again um, good deal if you're not uh, so technically uh, um, like you don't have that technical expertise anything else i hope i did not miss out so you just need to print as i told you just need to put this and give a command with your laptop or mobile and uh, 
as far as uh, scanning is concerned uh, this is something I can actually show you if uh, I need to scan uh, this part or I have yes I do have one page over there you just uh, keep it like this the part you need to uh, scan and close this part paper goes over here and it's uh, pretty easy operation and if you want black and white that's what I'm going for I just wanted to uh, show you like uh, in, uh, in spite of uh, refilling my cartridge uh, I'm quite satisfied uh, with the print uh, it came out not much is there I'm just showing you like uh, there is hardly any difference um, between the quality um, and uh, it's almost same that I used to get with the original that's what I'm saying if you want to go for uh, refilling the cartridge better go for cartridge world they do actual genuine work so this is how you scan it and for me again it was uh, the first experience and i'm enjoying it and i think it's user friendly and the bottlenecks i already told you is how to fix the uh, ink cartridge that will be i think will be a problem for a, uh, a layman and definitely installing the driver but if it is on the right USB, it is working fine. I think you may not face such problem. And uh, I already told you about OTG and how I'm trying to convert it into uh, wireless. And once it is done, I will post another video. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your patience. Yes, it is almost 13 minutes of video. Uh, yes, thanks a lot. Have a nice day.